The Mississippi River in St. Paul has risen to major flood stage. City officials say they plan to close Harriet Island tomorrow. The flooding has already forced the city to close streets, parks, and move cars from one of the impound lots. And the floods of 2011 are far from over. Care 11's Kyle Porter has more. I already know that there's going to be a flood. Little Anna and Aiden have just so many questions about Harriet Island in St. Paul. There's not sharks. Do I, Grandma? Are there sharks in there? They ventured with Grandma to learn about the floods of 11. Learn about nature, the good things and the bad things. I'm going to get a closer look, but no going in the water. The river has risen about five feet since Thursday to just under 18 feet high. It's projected to rise over 19 feet before it's all said and done, which is higher than last year. Goes up quick. But first, the St. Paul Yacht Club had to make sure all the power's turned off. Well, it is now. I just turned it off. I pulled all the fuses. While Dale and Sharon make their Harriet trip. Come down to see the river. An annual thing. Like a lot of people, we're drawn to water. But some are clenching their teeth. It's never been moved because of high water. Liz Miller runs the Covington Inn, which is now out of service. For the first time, she had to move her boat and business to safer grounds. It's going to be in the thousands of dollars plus thousands of dollars that I'm losing from business. I was supposed to be fully booked this weekend. The city of St. Paul says Harriet Island Park will be closed on Monday. No, no, we don't want any floaters in there, <laughs> All right. especially the grandkids. Good thing the grandkids got a look now. We can't go that like so close to the river. That's right. Yes because it's not safe. Kyle Porter, Care 11 News. The Metropolitan Wastewater Treatment Plant is bracing for flooding as well. They are constructing a temporary road tomorrow so employees will be able to get to work.